I really don't know. I am living my life interacting with my children and grandchildren and my gardens and uh, reading books and watching television and then all of a sudden I find I am writing a novel. I don't, don't know where it comes from. Uh, and uh, hopefully I keep writing it until it is done. But I would not identify one Georges as a writer and another one as a sailor and another one as a husband and another one as a father. The writer, I guess, has to be a combination of many selves to be successful. It's my experience uh, that most humans are not particularly happy. If you look at people walking along the street, maybe one in ten has a glow to their face, a smile. Uh, the rest are very sober and serious. And uh, in my book, The Dice Man, and in my book, Invasion, I see seriousness as the sickness that makes human beings unhappy and playfulness and fun as something that society and the establishment try to suppress as not helpful to them. They want serious people feeling they have to buy things, they have to go to war, they have to beware of terrorists. They have to make money. All things that are not compatible with happiness. There's more happiness in walking in a garden or watching children play than anything you can achieve in a business as far as I am concerned. Seriousness is the sickness and playfulness and fun is, is the cure. And uh, all of modern American society, American consumer culture and capitalist society and military uh, interventions around the world, all of these are intensely serious. And if you try to attack these in a serious way, it's not going to have much effect because the, uh, the corporations control the media and the government. So there has to be a revolution of playfulness, which is what the novel Invasion is talking about, uh, before there can be any profound change in human society. Well, Billy is first and foremost an old man, and I am first and foremost an old man. Uh, Billy is a sailor. I am a sailor. Uh, I guess I am a former hippie. We bought the house we live in 40 year, 45 years ago. It was a religious retreat for Catholic laymen when we bought it. It was owned by the Society for the Daughters of the Heart of Mary. But after we bought it, a Sufi commune that we had been living in came and occupied one of the two, uh, two buildings that were their big buildings to make it their school. Uh, some Jewish friends formed a commune to live in the upstairs part of the house. This is a huge house. And uh, I am a if I am any religion, it is Buddhist. So we had Buddhists, Buddhist, Hebrews upstairs, Sufis in the house next door. It was a very eclectic uh, group of people. And yes, I would say they were all hippies. Uh, for me, Mr. Trump is a horror. I have never seen in literature or life a more immoral, egotistical, lying, 
human being. I mean, he is a miracle <laughs> in the worst sense. <laughs> well, so is Louis in the novel, an alter ego. But as a young man, I did very little reading in high school. It wasn't until I was in college that I began reading great books. And the first author that I loved was Moliere. And uh, the first thing I tried to write was a comic play. I didn't try to write a story or a poem or an essay or a novel, but a play. Of course, it was horrible. Uh, nobody can write like Moliere. Uh, but he has influenced me uh, for the rest of my life because my novels are mostly comic with much co comic dialogue. Uh, but in the book, the reason he is called Moliere is these beings from outer space, no, not outer space, these beings from another universe, they're not in our galaxy or our universe, uh, they pop up and they have no control over where they pop up. Some Louis pops up in the ocean underwater and he spends time making friends with the dolphins and the whales <clears throat> until uh, our protagonist uh, catches him in his nets and uh, uh, becomes friends. Moliere landed in France and the people in France gave him a name and they called him Moliere. Uh, but of course, I, the author, intervened to get Moliere into the book. Uh, my novel, Whim, Adventures of Whim in the, in the 1980s, I think it was nominated as one of the best science fiction films. It is a fantasy film because Wim has magical powers. Almost all of them would make life more difficult for him. They're not magical powers in which he becomes a super person, just the opposite. Uh, so it was called science fiction, but it is not typical science fiction. And of course, Invasion is not typical science fiction because it has so much humor. I think most of the influences were negative. I, I've always disliked the fact that most aliens in most science fiction are no smarter or better or nicer or uh, more interesting than human beings. And the human beings usually end up going to war with them and defeating them. And you know that was not the sort of book I wanted to write. I wrote Invasion because I wanted to have super intelligent people commenting, coming to our American culture and commenting on it in a way that would give their criticism more weight than if I, the author, directly criticized American society.